mini Georgia peach cheesecakes. These are no bake, and I just started by crushing up some ginger snaps, just for a nice crust. This is a really nice twist on using graham cracker crust, which I also love, but we're, doing, we're gonna do something fancy today. And I'm also gonna add in a quarter cup of pecan meal. Basically, you can buy pecan meal at the store, but if you can't find it, um, you can just get pecans and just grind them up and that will turn into meal. Quarter cup going in. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of softened butter. So I'm just taking a fork and I'm just working the pecan meal and the ginger snaps into the butter. That looks pretty good. So I have some really small glass containers here that are gonna be really cute and single serving size. And I'm just gonna put a couple of tablespoons in the bottom of each one. I have a really nice cheesecake that I bake in the oven for people's birthdays, but I also love a no-bake cheesecake. It makes it so simple and easy to do. All I have to do is make the filling, stick them in the refrigerator, and then I'll top them, and they'll be ready to go. I'm gonna press this down into the bottom, like you would if you were making a full-size cheesecake. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna make the filling, which is, again, no-bake and really easy. I'm gonna start with cream cheese. So I've got eight ounces of softened cream cheese I'm gonna put into my electric mixer. And I'm gonna add in eight ounces of mascarpone cheese, which is yummy and creamy. And I'm gonna also add in a quarter cup of sour cream. Creamy, creamy. I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, and three tablespoons of powdered sugar. And then we just mix until smooth. That's smooth. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna fill these cute little glass jars. If that is nice, I'm just gonna go in. And I wanna make sure I have enough for each one because I'm gonna actually add each topping later, so I don't want it to be too full. So I'm gonna let these chill in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna top them with some bourbon peach topping. They're gonna be wonderful and they're cute and that's important. So I'm just doing a peach and Kentucky bourbon topping for mm. this cheesecake. I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Just melt those two together. A pinch of cinnamon and a little pinch of ginger. Ginger's and peach. Mm -hmm. Okay, now once it's all melted together and the sugar's melted, then I'm gonna add in these two peaches that I sliced up. Mm -hmm. And this is really just to soften the peaches a little bit. And for the Kentuckian, just a little bit of bourbon, just a couple of teaspoons. Mm -hmm. So this is silly, I, I tell the story all the time, but when I first started doing this show, I would always put the lemon this way. And this really nice girl named Lisa was watching the show and she said, you get more juice if you turn it the other way. <laughs> so I learned something from someone watching well, my show. Oh, I wouldn't have thought that either. No, yeah. which is pretty cool. Well. But Lisa knew her stuff, so. I think this is cool just enough to add to the top of this cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And we just have little individual servings. I do have more in the refrigerator. Oh, you Should do? Should this not be enough? Oh, we can, no. we can always well, come back that's more. good to know. <laughs> that's just enough to get in your holly tooth. <laughs> Shall we take our dessert outside? So the crust of this little cheesecake is ginger snaps mixed with crushed up pecans, like yeah, pecan meal. My goodness. Oh, it's good. It's good. Uh -huh. Man, it is so good.